Hello, everybody. Welcome to your yoga practice today. For needed props, have a block or two, a strap, and a, let's see, a chair right here. Have a chair handy and maybe a cat or a dog if you have one. So in our practice today, it's going to be more of a focus on the upper chakra. So the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. It's going to be more of our focus today. We have two chants. One chant is Om Namo Gurudev Namo. That's going to help us open up and tune in and create space. And then the second chant is going to be um, encompassing the upper chakras, but a little bit more focus on the heart chakra. And the chant is Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha. I'm going to say that again. Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha. And it translates into salutations to the wind element or to the heart. So every chakra is also related to an element of like earth, air, fire, things like that. Um, the heart is the wind or the air element. So it's this, this um, chant is salutations to the wind element, to the heart. So we're repeating that a lot in our practice today. Um, and I think that's about it. We can go ahead and get started. Come on to your mat. We begin in a seated position. Feel free to grab your meditation cushion or a block or a pillow just to give your hips a little bit of height over your knees. Because that can always be just feel really good. And I think it's important to talk a little bit about like why do why do we chant? Like what is what's the purpose or what's the intention? What does it do? What does it do? So chanting helps open a line, balance, bring attention awareness to all of your chakras, all of your chakras. So if you're looking for a little bit of a chakra practice, you know, we think, oh, chanting is only about the throat chakra, but that's not really true. It's about all the chakras, um, definitely the second chakra for sure, uh, where our, that's where creativity lives. So when we chant, we're using our throat chakra, but we're also putting something creative out into the world. So when you sing, when you chant, you're putting stuff out into the world, um, your creative energies, even if you didn't personally create that chant. So that's the second chakra, the solar plexus, like the action piece, the actual, so you have this thing, you're putting it out. So with, with the solar plexus, you can think about what you take in and then you create it and then you put it back out in the world. So you're taking in breath, and then you are offering this chant back out into the world. So there's, I mean, there, it just hits all of the chakras. It's really great. Also, it helps to stimulate a lot of endorphins and hormones and things like that. And it actually relaxes you. So chanting, hopefully, if you're past being embarrassed about chanting, will help actually relax the body. So it stimulates different things that way. Uh, it also connects you with a larger community and a lineage of people who have chanted and said these words. So you're getting plugged into that energy of all the people who've come before you who've utilized these same words. Um, okay, what else do I want to say? I'm starting to ramble a lot, but that's okay because I want to give a little, just a little bit of detail. Another breath we're going to do is we're going to do B breath. And that breath is to um, help stimulate the upper chakras with the B breath. And I'm going to show this close with the B breath. You have your hands on your head, and then you put your thumb on the little flappy part of your ear. So you're actually closing the ear off. So you put the thumb on the flappy part, the rest of the fingers kind of right into the, into the head around the, on the crown and the third eye. And then the breath is inhale through the nose, exhale. You hum like a bee. That's why it's called bee breath. So it's a inhale, exhale. And you hum like a bee until you have no exhale left. And you take a breath in. And then you exhale and um, do your bee breath out. OK, now we're really going to start. So let's begin by rubbing the palms. 
rubbing the palms. And because we're working with the upper chakra, a lot of times we go palms down. We go palms up on the tops of the thighs. Be open and ready to receive. So rub the palms, rub the palms. And then go palms up, tops of the thighs. Sit up nice and tall. We pause here and we notice our own selves. What is here today in this moment? How is your breath, your body, your emotions, your mind, and your spirit? When you're ready, bring the hands together at the heart. We'll chant Om Namo Gurudev Namo three times. I bow to the divine wisdom or the divine teacher that lives within me. Breath in. Om Namo Gurudev Namo open the eyes, moving into our B breath, and bring your thumbs, plug in the ears, fingertips around the third eye and the crown, breath in through the nose, exhale, humming like a bee, long as you can. Mm -hmm.
one more round. Release the hands, palms facing up on the thighs. Rest in awareness. In. Exhale, open the eyes. Each and every time we rest in awareness, you can think about it as kind of like a mini shavasana, allowing everything to soak into the cells, but also for you just to notice and see if you can feel any energetic or subtle body shifts. We're going to flow right into our chant for the upper chakras and the heart. Our chant is Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha. Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha. This is salutations to the wind element and to the heart. So to get us into this chant, we're going to flow it with the arms. And every time... We come up and we chant. We're going to bring it into the heart first, and then we're going to bring it into the throat, and then we're going to bring it into the third eye, and then we're going to bring it into the crown of the head. So you can see that I'm actually physically touching that space on my body, and you can do palms, you can do fingertips, you could even do like a little light dancing of the fingertips on these spaces, if that would feel good to you. So make it Kind of check in with your intuition. What what are you wanting? You want to like pressure, light touch, tapping? What is needed in that space? Yeah. All right, let's begin. Om Vaya Ve Namaha to the heart. Breath in. Exhale the chant. Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha to the throat. Breath in. Exhale the chant. Om Yang. Vaya ve namaha to the third eye, center of the forehead. Breath in. Exhale to chant. Om yang vaya ve namaha. Hands to the crown. Breath in. Exhale, we're going to chant and just kind of just flow this. So just keep flowing with your own breath, your own body. Remember, going to heart, throat, third eye, crown. Inhale. Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha. Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha. <clears throat> Om Yang Vaya Ve. Namaha. Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha. Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha. Om Yang. 
Papayave Namaha. Om Yang Vayave Namaha. Om Yang Vayave Namaha. Breath in. Exhale, hands to the tops of the thighs, palms up, rest in awareness. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, open the eyes, find some movement or some deeper movement in the body. Hands to the shins, gentle and slow. Cow, cat, inhale, cow, widen the collarbones, take your shoulder blades together and down. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Keep moving with your own breath. As you move, you might connect with your intuition and seeing what it's want what it is wanting for your body. Maybe it's a holding of a pose. Maybe it's doing this with the legs long. On your next inhale, begin to make some circles, shifting around the base of the spine, still offering your heart in the front and rounding in the back. Find that sweet spot and then reverse the direction of your circles. Inhale, sit up really nice and tall. Take the hands high, reach up. Exhale, twisting to the left. Bring the right hand to the outside of the thigh. Plant the left hand on the floor behind you on fingertips. Take a breath in. On the exhale, just the head turns and looks over the right shoulder, just the head. We're gonna flow the head with the breath. Inhale to look left. Exhale to look right. Inhale left. Exhale right. Keep moving at your own pace. And then on your next exhale, hold. So hold, looking over the right shoulder. Sit up tall.
breath in. Exhale, slowly come back. Bring the hands to the thighs, palms facing up. Rest in awareness. Open the eyes, inhale, hands high. Exhale, twisting to the right. Planting the right hand down, actively engaging the back of the left hand with your thigh. And then let's flow with the breath. Inhale, exhale, looking left. Inhale, looking right. Left. And right. Move at your own pace. On your next exhale, hold. Look hold at the left shoulder. Breath in. Exhale, come back. Palms facing up, rest in awareness. Breath in. Exhale, open the eyes, roll forward, come into child pose and connect your forehead to the mat or a block. So if your forehead doesn't easily connect, bring a block down and connect your forehead here. Elbows are soft, making kind of like a, a diamond shape with the upper body, the arms gently roll out the third eye. So you're gonna massage the forehead side to side. And we're working with our upper chakras today. We're actually bringing more like physical touch in directly into that area. Your hips want to rock a little bit with your forehead. That's okay. Breath in. Exhale, table. Rise. Spread the fingers nice and wide, stack your shoulders, and then find down dog. Tuck the toes, reach the hips high in your down dog. Feel free to explore your mat, some movement, walking the feet all over, or maybe you prefer some stillness in this down dog. And generously bend your knees, draw the chest and belly towards the thighs, press the floor away, line your ears 
with your biceps. Breath in. Exhale, ragdoll pose, feet stepping wide behind the hands. Release, let go of head, neck, and shoulders. Again, settling into stillness or finding movement. A little yes and no nod of the head. Breath in. The forward fold, heel toe the feet together. Halfway lift, connecting the hands to the shin. Take your shoulder blades together, down reach the crown of your head, long chin draws towards the throat. So you're thinking about energy lines from crown to tip. Breath in. Exhale forward fold. Melt it down. Off the knees. Breath in. Exhale, roll up. Roll up into mountain pose. Really nice and soft. In your mountain, you can have the feet together or you can go hips with apart. Does it matter? Whatever feels most like a mountain to you, spread the toes wide. Feet are energetically grabbing, they're grabbing at the floor. And we're going to do this kind of flowing movement with the arms. So you're going to rub the palms. I'm just going to show what this looks like. So you're going to rub the palms. And then we're going to like slide the hands across the body. So you're going to take your right hand, slide it all the way across your heart. Right hand connects with your left hand, slide it across, and then we'll switch. So we'll start, start rubbing the palms. Get your energy going here. And then extend the arms, breath in. Exhale, right hand to the left forearm and just slowly slide it across the heart. And you can kind of, even when you get to the heart, maybe rub it a little bit. Maybe take your fingers and massage this space. Uh, there's no right or wrong. Connect with your intuition. And then extend the right arm, breath in. We'll do this side a few more times. Exhale, right hand to the forearm. Slide it. And when you slide, like really feel your own fingertips on your skin. Come into the heart, and then maybe, maybe just a palm pressing down, like this awareness, this solid awareness, or maybe some massage or movement or gentle rocking or shifting. And reach the right arm back out. Breath in. Exhale. Right hand to the forearm. Slide it in. Find your heart space. Open it up. And then we'll switch sides. Breath in. Exhale, left hand to the right. You can go all the way to the palm if you have that available to you. Slide it in. Left hand to the heart. And I'm noticing some really tight muscles here for myself. See what's there for you. Inhale, left arm open, exhale, close, slide, find your heart, pause and connect with it. Open the left arm, connect form, gently slide. And then bring the right hand over the left hand, or either way, close your eyes. Breath in. Exhale, open. I'm going to take both hands above the head now. 
I'm gonna step back so I can get in a little bit here. And this is gonna be a more kind of interesting move. So you're gonna take the hands. I'm gonna let's see. I want to come up so you can see what I'm doing. I want to come up. So the hands are going to be above the head. Then you're going to slide down, just like we just did. Come to the heart. And then slide back up, in around. And come back to the heart. We're just going to go kind of in this circle, crossing the heart space. So you're sliding the hands up, sliding the hands down. So that's our movement. And then once we've got it, we're going to add in our chant. Keep sliding. Let's return to our chant. Om Yang Vayave Namaha. Salutations to the wind element. Salutations to the heart. Let's take a breath in and begin to chant. Om Yang Vayave Namaha 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 Once more Om Yang Vayave Namaha the hands along the sides of the body, open the palms. Rest in awareness. Breath in. And breath out. Breath in. Exhale, open the eyes. Hands come to the heart. Make you make your way to warrior one with the left leg out and the right leg back. And just a little word about warrior one. So in warrior one, the front knee is bent. And then you can see I'm in heel to heel alignment. So I'm in a very narrow stance. And, and that's great. There's nothing wrong with it. If you're feeling like you want a wider stance, just make your feet a little bit wider. And then whatever you're choosing, you're actively trying to square the hip. So your back hip will want to just kind of like open because that feels a little bit like, okay, that's where we're going. Take your back hip, square it to the front of your mat. So your both of your hip bones are going to be squared with the front corners of your mat. So take that back hip, reach it forward. Knee is aligning over the ankle. And we're going to flow. We're going to flow in our warrior one. And take the arms up, straighten the front leg, bring the hands to the heart. Bend the knee, come up, hands to the throat, bend the knee, hands to the forehead, bend the knee, hands to the crown. So we're gonna do that that we started with, and we're gonna add in our chant now, our own yang vayave namaha. Okay. Let's start with the knee bent. Hands at the heart, breath in. Exhale to chant and straighten the leg. Om, excuse me, om, om. I get my ohms and my ohms sometimes. Om, yang, vaya ve, namaha. All right. Om, yang, vaya ve, namaha. At the heart. Om Yang Vayave Namaha to the throat. Om Yang Vayave Namaha, third eye. 
Om Yang Vayave Namaha Crown. And then we're gonna keep moving with this. Keep moving this, do it at your own pace. You could bend your knees more or less. You could make it faster or even slower. So we'll take a few rounds going heart, throat. Remember when you touch the, these areas in your body, do it intuitively. So do you need pressure? Do you need fingertips? Do you need just the lightest bit of touch? What are you wanting? Breath in. Exhale to begin. Om Yang Vayave Namaha. Om Yang Vayave Namaha. Om Yang Vayave Namaha. Om Yang Vayave. Namaha Om Yang Vayave Namaha Om Yang Vayave Namaha Om Yang Vayave Namaha Om Yang Vayave Namaha. Let's pause here in your warrior one. Bring the hands together at the heart. Breath in. Exhale, open the eyes. Sweep the hands behind the back. You're going to interlace the fingers. Inhale to drop the head back as far as feels comfortable, but know that you can always just keep looking down the breastbone if dropping the head back does not work for you. And then on our exhale, we're going to go forward into kind of a humble warrior variation with the option to keep the hands behind the head or to rest them on the low back or even to let them just kind of sink and melt down towards the earth. Straighten the arms, inhale, breath in. Exhale, hinge. Hands can stay here, low back, or even melt them down. Then we're gonna flow this. Inhale, release the hands, come back up, warrior one. Exhale, hands behind the back. Inhale, straighten the arms, drop the head. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, release and flow back to warrior one. Exhale, hands behind the back. Inhale, open, drop the head back. Exhale, flow it down. Take a few rounds on your own, finding your intuitive movement. Let's go ahead and take one more. Meet me back in warrior one. Step up, Let's shake that out. Then we will switch sides. So step the left foot back now, bend into the right knee. That's what I was doing before. Nope, switch your leg. Right foot in front, left foot back. All right, so we're gonna start with that flow, straightening the leg and bringing it into the heart, the throat, the third eye, the crown with our chant. Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha. Breath in. Exhale the chant. Om Yang Vaya Ve Namaha. 
Om Yang Vayave Namaha 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 Bring the hands back to the heart. Inhale, hands high, warrior one. Exhale, hands behind the back. Interlace your fingers. Straighten the arms. Reach the head back. Focal point up. Breath in. Exhale, hinge and go forward. Humble warrior. Choose where the arms go. And then flow this with the breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, connect the hands behind you. Inhale, straighten, lift, open. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale. And exhale, you're going to move at your own pace. Find your intuition. What are you needing? What are you wanting? Meet me in Warrior One. Hands to the heart. Step up, shake that out, return to mountain. Hands along the sides of the body, pause, rest in awareness. in. Exhale, open the eyes. Come to the back of your mat. Breath in. Exhale, roll down. Rolling down vertebrae, vertebrae. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk out to plank, and then table. Come down, go ahead and grab a block here, and grab your chair. So we're gonna do a supported bridge, and <clears throat> also, um, a legs up the wall with a little bit more of an incline. So we'll start, let's bring your blanket 
or if you've got one down at the floor here. And <clears throat> your butt's gonna come, actually, let's see, butt is gonna be kind of off the blanket. Try a bridge, and now, now you're gonna scoot in. Now you're gonna scoot in. Scoot in towards your chair, bring your feet to the outside edges of the rungs. And we're gonna work into a supported bridge. Then when we go into our bridge, um, <coughs> keep your focal point up towards the ceiling because you're putting some pressure at the base of the neck. So the feet are gonna come to your chair, hands on the sides of the body, and then roll up, roll up one vertebrae at a time. So we're in this supported bridge using the chair for our inversion today. Breath in, exhale, roll down, roll it down with control, and then roll it back up. And roll it down. And then roll it back up. So inversions are good for your upper chakras. You can think about it as if you're bringing the energy up. You're bringing the energy from the lower chakras, from the earth. And then option to stay here. Option to bring the hands to the low back and then bring the knees in towards the forehead. Now, if you have neck issues, keep the weight in your shoulder blades or in that upper back area. So you're not gonna go into it real deep if you have neck issues, because then you're not, if we keep it more in the shoulder blades, there's less pressure on the neck. If you don't have neck issues and you wanna go deeper into this, you could go into your full shoulder stand, lifting the legs up. And this doesn't have to be real big. This is kind of like a little baby shoulder stand right here. Little baby one. If you're interested today and you want that deeper shoulder stand, the legs can go up towards the ceiling or the sky. Or you could even flow into plow. So baby shoulder stand, supported bridge, bigger shoulder stand, plow, any of this. Any of this. And when you're ready, just slowly, slowly come out. And then twist the whole body to the right. So <clears throat> your whole body, you can grab a little black or I think a meditation cushion is much more comfy. Um, <clears throat> so in the twist, the shoulders, we're starting with the hip stack and the shoulder stack. And you're simply gonna take your right, so I'm on my right side. Take your right hand, press down on the top of your left thigh. And now your left arm is gonna open, but the hips are not gonna go with it. It's just gonna be from that middle back area and upper back. So twist, open, and you could even strategically place a block over here and let your arm rest. You can see my arms resting in this block. Um, and that just makes it, it's nicer. This makes it a little bit softer, more passive. And that you can hold it here. Really settle and rest into this.
breath in. Exhale, slowly bringing the left arm all the way back. And then taking your time, roll onto the left side. Set your block over here. Stack the shoulders and the hips. Rest your head on a pillow or a block. Start with the hands on one another and then inhale, open the right arm. Left hand comes to the top of the right thigh. So everything here is staying really nice and static and still. Breath in, exhale, bring the hands back together, roll onto your back, and then we're gonna slide up to that chair, four legs up the wall, but we're gonna exaggerate it and make it more of an inversion. So grab your blanket, grab your pillow right here. I'll show you what this looks like. You're gonna have a seat right on your stack. And then slide the legs up. Now, if you have the wall, you can definitely do the wall. I don't have good wall space next to me. So I'm going to hang out on my chair. And then if you didn't like the inversion, so the inversion just helps like funnel everything down towards those higher chakras. If you didn't like the inversion, you do not have to have anything underneath the, the low back or the butt. So that's totally up to you. Hands. I like a cactus arm with this, help it open to the heart space a little bit more. Elbows are wide, palms are facing up. Settle in right here.
If you are wanting to stay here longer, please do so. If you're ready to move on, slowly make your way onto either side. Pausing here for a moment, allowing space for transition. Exhale, come up, seated. And hands back to the heart. In prayer, pause, notice your own self. Rub the palms together. And bring the hands for the heart, the throat, the third eye, the crown, and then back to the heart. Blend into their practice with a chant of Satnam, really long on the set. Short on the nom. Long deep breath in. Sa. Nom. Sat nom, friends. <laughs> 